What's up guys? This is Tech Synchronizer and my name is Kay Scotta. Welcome back to Tech Synchronizer. So today's video I am going to focus on something important found on your smartphone. Think about this, when someone calls, you take a phone and put it on ear. After that, automatically phone turns off itself. What do you think helps a phone to do this? As your body needs sensory organs to notify you what's going on, that's how smartphones need sensors to operate well. Even though a phone has a processor, GPU, modem and other useful tools, those are not enough to play Super Mario Run or detect your fingerprints. That's why sensors are really important in mobile devices. But what are smartphone sensors? Quickly let's dive in and find out more details about mobile sensors. A sensor is a device, module, machine, or subsystem whose purpose is to detect events or changes in its environment and send the information to other electronics, such as processor and bring the results to the screen for the user. Nowadays smartphones are really smart when it comes to tell a person more about what is happening by just using their sensors. Smartphone sensors are classified into three categories. Motion sensors environmental sensors, and position sensors. Let's begin by explaining every single category. Motion sensors. These sensors deal with acceleration forces and rotational forces along X, Y and Z axis. This category includes accelerometers, gravity sensors, gyroscopes, and rotational vector sensors. Accelerometer, gravity sensor and rotational vector sensors are motional sensors used to measure the acceleration force in M S2 that is applied to a device on all three physical axes, X, Y, and Z, including the force of gravity. Apps use those smartphone sensors to determine whether your phone is in portrait or landscape orientation. They can also tell if your phone screen is facing upward or downward. The accelerometer can also detect how fast your phone is moving in any linear direction. Gyro or gyroscope is a motion sensor used to measure a device's rate of rotation in rad s around each of the three physical axes x y and z provides orientation of details and direction like up down and left right but with greater precision like how much the device is tilted this is where it differs from accelerometer gyro is much used while playing simulation games and those need to rotate the next category of sensors is environmental sensors these sensors measure various environmental parameters such as ambient air temperature and pressure illumination and humidity this category includes barometers photometers and thermometers now let's spread this thread by explaining every term ambient temperature measures the ambient room temperature in degrees celsius at this section ambient light sensor comes. Physis the light sensor detects the lighting levels in the vicinity to adjust the display brightness accordingly. That's why your phone increases brightness outdoors and decreases indoors when auto brightness is enabled. The next environmental sensor is. Barometer. The barometer measures the air pressure, so it is quite useful in detecting weather changes and in calculating the altitude you're at yet it is found in some high-end smartphones. Thermometer Every smartphone comes with an inbuilt thermometer for monitoring the temperature inside the device and battery. In case a component starts overheating, the system shuts down itself to prevent any damage. However, some handsets come with additional thermometers to measure ambient temperature. Geiger counter It can measure the current radiation level in the area. Now. This is one smartphone sensor sharp Pantone 5 that you should not expect to find in common devices. Heart rate sensor measures heartbeats with the help of LED and optical sensors. The LED emits light towards the skin and this smartphone sensor looks for the light waves reflected by it. There is a difference in the light intensity when there is a pulse. The heartbeat is measured by counting the changes in light intensity between the minute pulsations of the blood vessels. Many fitness and health apps use this method to calculate the heart rate. Air humidity sensor. Measure the humidity in the air, 
and the data collected by it would tell the user whether the given air temperature and humidity are optimum or not. Barcode slash QR code sensors. Most of the smartphones have barcode sensors that can read a barcode by detecting the reflected light from the code. It generates an analog signal with varying voltage that represents the barcode. This analog signal is then converted to a digital one and finally decoded to reveal the information in it. Barcode sensors are useful when scanning the barcode's products or QR codes. Pedometer The pedometer is used for counting steps, and Fitness Tracker makes use of this sensor to count the number of steps you pay. Pedometers generally use the values generated by the accelerometer to monitor your movements like running or walking. Fingerprint Sensor Detects your fingerprints and unlock your phone or register your identity. When you put your finger on its surface, the ridges in your fingerprints touch the surface whereas the hollows between the ridges have a slight separation. In short, it measures the varying distances and pattern between the ridges on the surface of your finger. This smartphone sensor is quite useful in apps that require authentication such as mobile payment apps. Touchscreen Sensors the smartphone sensors in a touchscreen have an electrical current passing through them at all times and touching the screen causes a change in the signals. This change acts as input for the device. Before Apple introduced the capacitive touchscreen, resistive screens were used in the display. But nowadays, the capacitive screen is used in almost all smartphones. Microphone The microphone is basically a sound sensor that detects and measures the loudness of sound. While there are different types of microphone sensors available, smartphones generally use micro-sized electric microphones. Apart from making and receiving calls, it is used for voice search and voice commands for digital assistant apps like Bixby, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Cortana, Siri, and so on. Proximity Sensor a proximity sensor makes use of an infrared LED and IOR light detector to find out how close the phone is to an outside object. It's used while making calls and when the phone is held to the face to make or receive a call, the sensor detects it and disables the touchscreen display to avoid unintended input through the skin. GPS Global Positioning System GPS Units and smartphone communicate with the satellites to determine our precise location on Earth. The GPS technology doesn't actually use internet data this is why we can find our location on maps even after losing the signals, but the map itself is blurry as it requires internet to load the details, this is how offline map works. GPS is used in all location based apps like Uber and Google Maps. Note that GPS can't work standalone that's why it summons the accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer to work together. Compass slash magnetometer Detect magnetic field, so the compass app and phones uses this smartphone sensor to point at the planet's north pole. Whenever you open Google Maps or Apple Maps, the magnetometer is fired up to determine which way the map should be. This sensor can detect metal very well, so it is used in metal detector apps too. Also this work together with accelerometer, gyro and GPS. That's it guys I guess now you understand different types of sensors. Apart from those sensors there are other sensors used in smartphones by using wireless mode. Camera is one of the smartphone sensors too. Any miscellaneous feature on smartphone needs a sensor to work perfect and brings the accuracy information or calculation. This brings me to the end of the video and if you find my videos useful please like, share and subscribe. As always peace be with you.